flexibility. Oh, yeah, you need to work on I it. I know. I yeah. can feel it getting so much harder. Well, and yes. you know what? We're. I think part of the problem is we're not all equally supple. For it's example, okay. my son yeah. can take his leg and put it like in <laughs> Chicago, whereas my daughter, she it's is like, so tight. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, it, it, people are just different. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you things, especially those of you that are tight, that'll really help you. Um, and, and, and there's, you know, as you get older, you do get tighter. Mm -hmm. There's lots of studies that show that in both, both upper body and lower body. So today we're going to look at, or in this clip, we're going to look at uh, the, the tightness in the lower body. Okay. So we're going to do okay. a, a sit and reach test. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit in the chair, and I want you to try this very simple one. And you need to keep one knee at 90 degrees, mm -hmm. and then you're going to extend your other leg, and you're going to bend your ankle to neutral. You're going to put one hand on top of the other. Okay. All right. And you're going to try to touch your toe or go past it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you could do it. I'm getting there. Okay. Oh my. Okay. I think I can get some. Can you touch your toe? Oh, right. If I put oh, my hand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I can't nice. go much more than that. Yeah, though. But that's good. All right. Okay. So the goal is actually women can go past their toe. Men lack about a, a couple centimeters to their toe. Men okay. are much less flexible than women. In general. And you need to do that on both sides, okay? Um, and then, if you are tight, you know, Dana's going to show you a great stretching program that's yeah. different than anything you've ever seen. This is Stanzano's work. Uh, twice a week for eight weeks, ten repetitions, mm -hmm. held four to five seconds. And people who did this didn't just get more flexible. They improved in walking, oh, sit to stand. I love that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it affected more than just flexibility. Right. But it's very different. So listen to how she's going to tell you how to do it. Go for it. All right, so we're going to go through five lower body stretches. And what we're going to do is actually work with the stretch. So we're used to stretching, holding long periods. This is a little different. So we're going to start with the quadricep, which is the thigh muscle. And you're going to reach back and grab your foot. Now, if you can't get it, you can use a towel. So when you get yourself in a stretch position, what you're going to do for four to five seconds is try to bend your knee a little bit more. So it's called an active assist stretch. So I'm using my hamstring on the back of my this leg muscle. right to try to bend my knee and holding four to five seconds and then releasing right Perfect. so exactly stretching the front using the back and so that's a contraction four to five seconds release ten times that's the first one the second one is that sit and reach test so I'm gonna come down into that position straighten my leg in front of me and as I lean forward, I get the stretch, and then I'm gonna activate or tighten my quad and use my body to try to pull myself forward a little further for four to five seconds, then release. Then I use those muscles again to try to pull myself a little more forward for four to five seconds, and then release. 10 times on that one. Then you're gonna do a seated rotation for the trunk movement. So here, I'm gonna reach over and twist my body to the side and then as I do this, I'm stretching this side of my body. I'm using these muscles to try to pull myself a little more Love it. into rotation. Four to five seconds, 10 times. Okay, so these muscles are engaging. These are stretching. Four to five seconds, 10 times. Then I'm gonna use my ad, I'm gonna stretch my adductors or my inner thigh by standing in a wide staggered stance and going into a lateral lunge. As I do that, I'm lengthen, lengthening these muscles and then I'm trying to pull myself to the side a little bit more by using these muscles. Four to five seconds, release, pull a little bit more, actively engaging, four to five seconds, 10 times. And the last one's a calf stretch. So like a runner's stretch. So leg behind in a staggered stance, I'm stretching the calf. And then what I'm doing is trying to pull my toes up off the ground. So yeah, using these. Right, yeah. four to five seconds, release. So I'm trying to lift my toes up using the muscles on the front of my shin, stretching the back 10 times. And then you go through that program twice a week. That's it. And that's it. And then that really shows all those benefits that Carol had mentioned earlier. Yeah. And I think you'll see the difference if you just try, for example, the calf stretch passively versus mm -hmm. lifting your toes up. Big difference in how mm -hmm. it, you feel that stretch. Yeah. I love it. I think it feels great. All right. Thank you. I love it. Great. Those are your exercises for aging well.